Okay, so as the semester winds down, I want to leave you with my ancient mathematics blessing to go on your way. It's based on the sets of numbers, as you'll see. So let me just turn this on. First of all, I'll read it to you, and then I'll explain it, and then I'll give you a copy. Now, it says ancient, but I think I wrote it in about 1991. Actually, I don't think it was quite that long ago, but I like palindrome, so I said 1991. It says, may you be a natural with figures. May you enjoy life a whole lot. May you be an integral part of the universe. May your thinking be rational. May your fears be irrational. There should be a line on the cube, but I can't do it on the computer, so I just write it in there when I print it off. May your faith be real. May your enemies be imaginary, and may your problems not be too complex. Do you recognize the number systems? The natural numbers, the counting numbers starting with one, one, two, three, four, et cetera. The whole numbers, which are the natural numbers plus the number zero. Yes, a lot of civilizations didn't have the concept of zero for a long time. In fact, some people think the number zero was invented to explain the Toronto Maple Leafs. Then there's the integers, the positive and negative whole numbers. Trouble is, negative is zero is still zero, so the Toronto Maple Leafs are still losers. The rational numbers, any number that can be written as a fraction. The irrational, numbers that can't be, like pi. You can't write it as a fraction. And together, the rationals and the irrational makes, make up the real numbers. But there are numbers beyond that. There's the imaginary numbers, which include the square root of negative one. You can only imagine what that is. It's not a real number. And if you combine real and imaginary numbers, like a real number plus an imaginary number, those are the complex numbers. So this is my ancient, in quotation marks, mathematics blessing, which I'm going to leave with you. Thank you, Dongjun.